heaven came down and glory filled my soul when at the cross the savior made me whole my sins were washed away and my night was turned to day heaven came down and glory filled my soul good morning how y'all doing today it is Tuesday, March 22nd, 2022, and I would like to wish my wife a happy anniversary. It is our anniversary today, so happy anniversary, baby. Uh, today, we're going to look at the spiritual gift of strength by the Spirit. Strength by the Spirit. Ephesians chapter 3 verses 14 through 19 Paul says for this reason I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and the length and the depth and the height to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Paul is saying that God will grant strength with might through the Holy Spirit. That is the gift we're looking at, strength by the Spirit. The Greek word translated strength is kratayo'o, spelled K-R-A-T-A-I-O-O, kratayo'o. It means to empower to increase, to strengthen. It occurs four times in the New Testament. We will look at a few of them because it directly relates to what, are we, what we are learning. The first occurrence was regarding John the Baptist after he was born. Luke chapter 1 verse 80 says, And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit and was in the deserts till the day of his showing unto Israel. The phrase waxed strong is the same Greek word that is translated strengthened. John the Baptist was strengthened by the Spirit. In the second occurrence of the word in Luke chapter 2 verse 40 regarding Jesus it says, And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Jesus, like John, was strengthened by the Spirit. So we can see that three out of the four times the Greek word kratayo'o is used it talks about being strengthened by the Holy Spirit. In the instance in Ephesians, Paul says that we can be strengthened with might through the Holy Spirit. The phrase with might is from the Greek word dunamis. You should remember that word. We've looked at it several times. Strong's defines it as a force specifically a miraculous power. It can be thought of with the same power as dynamite. That's where the word dynamite comes from is the Greek word dunamis. It is explosive and really proves who the Holy Spirit is and what he is capable of. Paul says that the reason we need the Holy Spirit to strengthen our inner man so that Christ will dwell in our hearts through faith. That faith, grounded in love, helps us to comprehend the love of Christ. 
Paul says that the love of Christ passes all knowledge and helps us to be filled with all the fullness of God. Earthly wisdom won't help us understand Jesus. In other words, we need more than just head knowledge of Jesus. We need to have a heart knowledge of him. That's where the faith comes in. We have to believe in something, or in this case, someone who we can't see. That wraps it up for today. Be sure to click the red subscribe button if you haven't already. And always feel free to share these videos with your friends and family on YouTube or on Facebook. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that you can strengthen us by your Spirit, Lord God. That is one of the gifts that you've given us, Father. Father, help us to know you. Help us to know the gifts that you've given us. And help us to learn by the Holy Spirit to use those gifts to bring healing to others, to bring wisdom, to bring knowledge to others. Lord God, whatever it is that people have need of, be willing to work through us as we submit ourselves to you. Father, that it would bring you glory and honor in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Well, y'all have a great day today and see if the Lord will speak to you today concerning how to use his gifts through the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm.